Is it five or six fish? Six. How's it going, man? How you doing, brother? Man? Good to see you out here. Again. You too, man. Big seconds are last. Lopez Maldonado. Hey. Twenty-nine. Thank you, guys. Good luck to you guys. First tournament of the year, and luckily we got 29th. So we're gonna be the 29th boat launching out of here, so not exactly the best number, but we're gonna make the best of it. Fish our ass off today, hopefully come out with a limit. We should be good. Let's get out there, guys. I don't even know what the water temps are, bro, but we're probably looking at some mid 40s, so it's gonna be Man, as we've been fishing. It might be a slow start, but we've been fishing that temp for a while now, so it's nothing we're not used to. Uh, we're going to head down lake with the rest of the competition, most likely, and uh, try to just find some creek mouths and, and fish jerk baits, cranks, all that good stuff. As soon as we uh, we get our number, we're going to be off. Hey, look at this, though. 29. Everyone's going down. Everybody. First turn of the year, Tony, you ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the ledge 2.5. So guys, I did something a little different for this tournament and uh, just in general, if you guys see right there, I got braid on a cranking rod. So I did that because I was tired of using mono and fluoro and it just getting all kinked up and worn over time. We're gonna try cranking with braid and I can already tell it's gonna be nice. I've got a, a leader, of course. It is 10 feet. So we just came up. We just went all the way down the shoreline. We fished it with a crankbait, spinnerbait, jerkbait, and we didn't get hit. So we're just going to cycle this again one more time. What time you got on the clock, bro? I told him we should be out of here by 8. It's probably 8. 7.50. 7.50. So we got like 10 more minutes to cycle this spot, and then we're going to move. Oh, it's the worst. I'm just going to have to crank around rock. I don't like that. Never catch fish on a crankbait whenever I'm in an area with too many leaves. It's weird. All right, y'all, so we're in this next creek. We worked our way down lake. We're, all, we're heading towards the dam in that general direction. We're just kind of stopping in different creeks and going in the mouth, going in the mouths and seeing if we can get bit. We're just trying to figure out where these fish are first and then what they're on. Yeah, we moved We moved a good ways down lake, guys, so we're, we're maybe like a mile from the dam. And uh, these main lake points just look really good to me. They're adjacent to deep water, but it's real shallow up on these pockets. And I'm thinking with these fish staging kind of, they're waiting to go up into these creeks, but the weather's been unstable. It's been really cold and it gets warm and it's cold. So like these fish don't know what's good. Neither do I. So we're on the same page, but we need to connect. So I'm just, I'm fishing areas that my gut is saying look good and that also have the, the features I'm looking for. So one, we've got structure here. A lot of mixed rock and wood up on the shoreline. Two, we've got points. Um, and the bottom contour is a mix between rock and wood and sand or sediment bottom. But this, these little cuts off the main lake are shallow as heck. And we're sitting out in 20 feet right off the point. So what that tells me is that these fish have access to deep water and shallow water within 15 yards. All right, time to retire the crank right now. Although I love you so much, you have not been good to me yet. We're on a Z-Craw. Zoom Z crawl on a slider head. If this becomes a worming tournament. Nine oh two? Not terrible, but um we definitely would have liked to have had a bite by now. We're making our way from these main lake pockets, fishing a variety of things into these creeks. Also fishing a variety of things, but I'm fishing this quarter ounce Demiki jig head on a swimming super fluke junior it's a pro blue red pearl with a chartreuse tail we thought it would be a lot murkier than it is but it's pretty clear today um, but unfortunately the temps are really low still 44. oh this is this is kind of what i expected but i was hoping for a little better <sighs> keys to success i use organic i'm eating some gmos maybe i'll grow a fourth leg <laughs> story of my life
try this for a minute. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Got a fish? Yes. Boy, throw them in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick idea of what's going on. It is what time? Close to 10. Right, so we've been out here about two and a half hours, going on two and a half hours. And uh, as usual at the Aquaquan Reservoir, for us at least, uh, it's a slow start. And that's okay. Uh, usually, if it's a slow start, it's probably a slow start for most of the field. So they're not making it easy today by any means. We've got one clue, and that clue is a fish on a windy point on the outside of a creek mouth. The wind is coming out of this creek and it's blowing right onto this point back here and he got his bite on a Ned rig crawling it real slow so I don't know why these fish aren't taking any reaction baits right now. I don't know if we're just not in the right spot at the right time with the reaction baits to get those fish or if we're really going to have to slow down and do a Ned, Cinco, slider head, shaky head deal. Uh, I hope that's not the case because as you all know I love to crank but we're going to find out. We're going to switch to a Denny Brower structure head jig so hopefully we don't get caught up as much because I'm tired of it. And what I'm going to do next is put a wiggle wart on my smaller cranking rod because my buddy Nolan, shout out to Nolan on the West Virginia fishing team, he has been just slapping big fish in the face with this thing. These are sweet. Some of the best bodies I've found. Got a couple different colors and luckily I went with natural colors so this should show up real nice. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That is a diseased fish. Okay. Yeah. What the? F Whoa. Yeah. You saw that? One eternity later. All right, whippersnapper, bring that jerk bait back, and I'm gonna turn us this way. This reminds me of a beach. Every time I come to this spot, I feel at home. I don't know what the drag is on this or nothing. Hey, give up. hey, Tina, that's for Tina. Yeah, you ain't give up. That's for Tina. She said, she said, bring the wiggle wart. <gasps> came out, came out, figured, right here. <sighs> wiggle wart. It's not over yet. There go. Oh. Hey, how do you like that cranking rod for a cranking bed? <sighs> I like it, I like it. Kind of scared me because I'm not used to it. So I was just like playing the drag, but the, this old reel played really well. She knew it. She literally did before like last night, like before I went up, she was just like, bring the warts. And I was like, that was on the, the wiggle wart. So we got two fish, so each of us have one. We have both contributed to the tournament weight of like six pounds. We need like a solid five, six pound fish. Then we'll be at least look okay. Dude, if we get a longer, we'll be top 15. You don't think so? How much do you think the winning weight is? 28. I bet you it's under 20. got two. How about y'all? Today was a b They had it a week too early, fam. Dude, winter's hanging on. I'll take it though. That means the big girls will be in soon. 10 minutes. Let's do it. All that winter fishy we did that came in clutch today. Yeah. 
We caught two fish, yes, yes. You got him, bro? Thank you. Thanks, bro. Boat number? 29. 29, how many fish? Two. 29, two fish. Six, five and a half, six. Six point four eight. Six point four eight. Thank you, sir. Six four eight. We need someone who takes good pictures. Good. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. And just like that, all that hard work goes. No, here, Bob. There you go. Go, buddy. See ya. All right guys, so we're back at the house. We got the boat put up and I'm pretty exhausted. I don't know about you, man, but I had a long day. The, the awkward camera angle here. We've got the camera sitting on the uh, on the dashboard here. We don't even have it on a mount. Anyways, well, let's talk about the day. I'm gonna let this man give his thoughts on what happened today and then I'll go. I don't really have too much to say, but. One of the toughest days I, um, I've had fishing out this whole year. I know, I know it was definitely one it of the was toughest. Tough. I caught one fish today. The 2 7 was off a windy point. David caught one fish around three and a half pounds off a windy point. That was it. There's probably, there probably seven hours in between, like, both fish. <laughs> Two fish in eight hours? That averages out to like zero fish per hour. Marked a lot of fish. So that was one thing I found pretty peculiar. We marked a lot of bait. But I think what happened, let me just give you guys a little explanation on what happened the week leading up to this tournament. I'll make it brief. The temperatures basically dipped, okay? We had steady temps going up into the 50s. Then we just had like a drop in temp down to what? Like highs of 48. Like it just started going down. Like yeah. in the in the low 40s were, were the highs for last week. So leading into the tournament today, last night, when we woke up this morning at 4 a.m., it was 28 degrees. So that gives you guys an idea of how cold that water was. So it went down from 46 the week previous to 43. Anytime you guys have that going into spring, that's not good. So with the cold water like that, I think it just turned the fish off. We had, we had ice on our guides. It were in starting the morning. out the morning. Yeah. I asked him on the way out, or he asked me, you know, how many fish do you think we went over today that just didn't touch our stuff? I mean, I guarantee we went over a lot of good fish and they just weren't having it. And it was the same for the whole competition field, so we're not alone in that regard. It was tough for everybody, but somebody always manages to catch fish. And not surprisingly today, um, I believe the gentleman's name is Steve. Steven? Steven. So congrats to Steven, man. He slayed fish. He had 28 plus pounds. So, I mean, I, I told this kid the whole day on the water, we can't get confident no matter what is in that live well because somebody is always whacking them. It is what it is. It's, it sure beats work, you know? Uh, it does. Um, we probably did top 40%. There was a lot of people that didn't weigh fish. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in as always. We're going to work our best. We're going to try our hardest to fish all of these tournaments. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks. Thanks.